Scorpio. What's going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Several. I am back at it again, one time for the one time to let you guys know what energies we got surrounding us for the month of August 19th. Yes, indeed, big baby. You already know it. Shout out to everyone who is like, share, and subscribed. And subscribe. What is the hell is subscribe? That subscribed and clicked this video. I want to give a quick shout out to my baby Callie and to my baby Miss D for the support that they sent to the channel. We got the Game of Thrones playing card deck. Yes, indeed, honey. And now we got the unicorn for all my Power Ranger unicorns out there. How you doing? How you doing? Yes, we will be all up in this piece. Best believe. Yes, indeed. All roids, all roids. So, so. Let's see what we got here, you guys. Um, if there's anyone who wants to book a personal private reading with Scorpion Red Several, only thing you need to do is click that About tab. You book with me, then link up with me. Go ahead and click that hyperlink that says Scorpion Red Several at Simply Book Me. Go ahead and book the reading and then link up with me. Um, my Instagram is right directly under the booking link. Go ahead and click that link and send me a message. Say, hey, Reg, this is so-and-so. I booked with you on this date and time, and we good, all right? If you do not have Instagram and um, you have an email, Email, just go ahead and download um, this application called Google Hangouts. You use your email to start it, and you use my email to send me communication. So my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. After you book your reading, um, send me a message on Google Hangout and say, again, hey, Reds, this is so-and-so. I book with you at this date of time, and we can link there for the video chat. If you guys want to recap up the video, um, or if you want to not get on camera and you rather me just, you know, do a direct upload and you send me your question, that's good as well. There's an add-on um, that you can purchase in the menu when you're purchasing the type of reading that you want. And when you email me or when you message me um, on Instagram or, or on um, Google Hangouts, just let me know uh, if the add-on that you purchase, if it's because you want me to record our video session so you can have a copy of it, or if it's because you just, you know, want a direct upload. If you only want a direct upload, only send me the question based on the type of reading that you purchase. Don't tell me that meat and potatoes around the question um, as to why you're asking it. I want to go into the energy blind. I'm going to ask the question that you um, come to me with. I'm going to go to the source. I'm going to get the information and then we're going to, you know, communicate on the back end and, you know, see and discuss what, what came out, okay? So if there's anyone that would like to send any love and support to the page, you can feel free to do so by um, clicking the Amazon wish list or the PayPal link that's in the about tab. And thank you guys again. Thank you again to my baby Callie. As you can see, I got this wonderful, wonderful, um, this black tourmaline bonsai tree that was given to me for protection um, of my energy by my baby Callie. So again, I thank you guys so much. For all of y'all do for me and thinking of my healing and my protection as well and um just helping me with equipment we got new lighting y'all let me know if you guys like this new lighting if you guys can see things clearly if there's any dark spots um i thank you guys so much for all of the love and support again um and you know i am a scorpio so you know i specifically have a direct connection with my scorpio group i love you guys so much because we be turning up and we be turning out so let's get into the energy Father God, thank you so much for bringing he us here today. For the sign of Scorpio, Lord Jesus, Lord knows I've been waiting to do this reading because when I'm trying to tell you, there have been some upheavals and some shaking and baking going on in my life, Father God. And I don't know about everyone else, but I'm ready for this retrograde, uh, retrograde to get the hell up out of here because it's irritating, okay? And I'm tired of it causing mischief in my life because I was fine, Jesus. But, um, and I still am fine, honey. Fine is fine. You better know it. Father God, continue to guide my, us, us Scorpios because especially the ones that are living in our light, Whatever has recently happened, we definitely transmuted that negative energy. Let me try to tell you into some positive energy. And we planted new seeds. We did not let it beat us. We did not let it defeat us. We cried tears of joy because we know our strength. And we know if we really get pushed with our back up against the wall, you know how we'll get out this joint. And you know how we'll fight. And you know how vicious it can get when you play with a Scorpio. And it's like... 
we just want to be on chill like you know what i'm saying we really want to just be on chill and just be on our best behavior and just be on our mission so i believe a lot of things that's been transpiring recently have been tests to see if we can keep our cool you know and just stay on our mission so i know i have and i know a lot of you will okay so regardless of what's going on right now no you know we shall not be defeated. And you keep going forth on your path and then on your journey and just know that God got you at all time. And God tests us because he never said it would be easy. And he want to see what the hell you to learn. So, Father God, thank you so much for believing in us. Thank you for helping us succeed because we shall succeed. And we are succeeding, Father God. And we're going to keep our head high in the glory, Father God. Thank you so much, Father. I'm going to say amen before I even uh, close the prayer. But I'm saying amen in advance because, Father God, I know that there's big blessings. And you are moving boulders out of our way so we can get upon our path for where we need to go. And I thank you in in advance. And I thank you for everything that we have now currently, Father God. It may, be a, it may not be much, but it's just enough to get us to where we need to go. So, Father, continue helping us plant the seeds and um, strengthening our resources and, you know, Thank you so much for everything that you've given us in the past, present, and future. I don't want to make this prayer too long. I'm going to say amen. Thank you. <clears throat> Give us guidance, guidance in the month of August. Please give us guidance in the month of August. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Give me guidance in the month of August. Y'all here can't do dripping, drip, drip. Can't do dripping, drip, drip. <laughs> Give me guidance. August for my Scorpio. Can't do dripping, drip, drip. Can't do dripping, drip, drip. Can't do dripping. All the diamonds stay dripping. Ice. Give me guidance for my Scorpio for August. What's the general energy? What in the dear hell? This is the fucking... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Father God, is this real? Is this real? Is this real? Every single reading that I have just done, I have shuffled this deck 18 million times the same freaking but y'all at least our card came up in the upright it ain't it wasn't in the reverse saying that we couldn't come up with a clear solution no they're saying that we seen the light in the name of the father son god we got clear solution you, 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 i'm sorry i feel like i want to go crazy because like if y'all don't do if y'all not a reader like you don't understand like because it's just like what are you trying to say Basically, I'm, you know, because if you guys have been watching all the premieres that released today, y'all know that y'all seen this card. This whole month of August is about clear solutions. That is why we've been having these tower moments. Listen to me. Listen to me. The lantern fairy. God is giving us clear vision. And also, he's opening up the site of vision for a lot of people. If you, you know, oh, the ace of swords in the reverse. You searching for some type of truth and some type of answers. Like, why did this happen? Why did that happen? What did that mean? The Nine of Cups. It's like having to pour out everything that you love and start all over. And it's like, why? It's like after everything that I learned, you want me to pour out everything that I love and just move forward with the knowledge that I've obtained throughout this experience. It's just like, but why? You know what I'm saying? Why? That's not going to make me happy. The Queen of Cups is something that's making... Something happen. Something happened. Something is about to be severed. Something is about to be cut off. 
something to where it was something that you loved or something that you used to invest your heart in is being emptied. It's no more resources there. Give me guidance. And you want to know why. And it's just like... You're being thrown something new. You're being given something new. That's why. Three of swords in reverse. Eight of cups walking away. You're being given something new because too much has been done. There's nothing left here. It's better, it's better to just walk away and just leave everything behind. Why you want to stay somewhere and stay in a place where your heart's been broken over and over and over again, where you could go somewhere else and start new? And it's like, what is being offered to you in this location, at this place, you don't even want it. You're not even interested anymore. You're rejecting it. You're denying it. It's not emotionally fulfilling to you anymore. So, like, the clear solution is just to get the fuck up and pour everything out and walk away. I mean, it's like, why ask why? Only thing you know is that, I mean, are you happy here? You feel secure? You feel like things are growing well? Do you trust the people here? You know what I'm saying? It's it No. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, why ask why? Why ask why? You're not happy. You feel insecure. You don't emotionally know where things are going or where things are headed. Just know that I'm throwing you something new. Just know that I'll throw you something new. I wouldn't have put you through all of these lessons. You wouldn't have studied, you know, because even though this is the nine of uh, the nine of cups, you see how it's in a bookshelf. So it was like you learned a lot, you know what I'm saying? You learned a lot and you were you were filled with a whole lot of knowledge. You don't need what's in those cups no more. You got to, you don't need what's in them bookshelves. It's like if you study every fucking book in the library, what the fuck do you need to stay in the library for? Bitch, you are the library. Do you understand what I'm saying? That was deep because I didn't even really realize that I was about to say that or... But, no, like, if you really, really think about that. It's like, you want to stay in a place, you want to stay in an environment. Like, yeah, you took a lot of time and studied. And, like, you are, you you know, to some point, you are emotionally fulfilled. Because I feel like you feel comfortable here. But after you've read every fucking thing, like, there's nothing left to do. Like, like you just want to sit there just to sit there? You want to reread the books again? You want to go through the experience again? Like, no, it's time to, like, you are the library. You are walking knowledge. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, stop feeling emotionally insecure and not confident of yourself. I am pushing you to a new standard, okay? This is new to you. You don't know nobody here. You're going to have to start your life all over. I'm going to throw you some coins. You're going to be okay. All right? Everything that you've learned have made you so much far and different from where you're at now. You don't fit in there. People are going to laugh at you and they're going to make fun of you. And they're going to call you a dwarf. And they're fucking idiots. Do you understand what I'm saying? I want you to go somewhere where you're respected. Okay? Where you're respected. These people don't respect you. These people never did respect you. These people have betrayed you and stabbed you in your heart over and over and over and over again. Your friends, your family, your work environment, your home environment. Like, I mean, shit, it's nothing left there. It's nothing left there to savor. You know what I'm saying? And the best way to move on and get over these things is not to be in that environment no more. You don't want to be in a saloon drinking and having it up with these idiots. You are not like these people. They're drunks. You like to have a cocktail. Big difference. You understand what I'm saying? Hang around people that just like to have light social parties and social gatherings. And, you know, like to network 
and have a cocktail, not sitting in a fucking saloon with drunks. Big difference. You understand what I'm saying? You are in a saloon with low life drunks. You need to go uptown in one of the posh neighborhoods and go in one of the nice ass Ritz Carlton hotels and go sit at the bar down there, okay? That's where you need to be sitting at. Because the shit that these motherfuckers in this bar and saloon is offering, you don't even want that shit no more. You don't even want that shit no more. And you see that shit clear right now. The clear solution is just to move the fuck on. You just don't fit in here no more. I just feel like you just don't fit in. Give me guidance in regards to... Of course, just my curiosity is making me go to the... Um, I want to go to the Three of Swords in the reverse in the Page of Coins. Because you're being thrown something. Something new is being thrown at you. And it's like you having to start all over from the beginning. But it's, a, it's, it's solid. Like this one is solid. It's not, coming with heart, it's not coming with heartbreak. Clarify the Page of Coins. Okay now. The five hands. This is like you are being put, you're being thrown something that you can actually work with. That you could use your hands to build, to mold, to shape, to grow. This is like changes in your work environment and your business and uh, the amount of work that you're putting into something. Um, changing your partners. You know what I'm saying? Like, you. Yeah, changing your partners. And then you got the king of hearts right here. Changing your business partners. or You know, like an exchange of business or royalties. I mean, not royalties. This is not royalties. This has something to do with work and status. You know what I'm saying? So to where is those somewhere else where you were working with and you were trying to build something where you realize, man, shit ain't going to work out with this motherfucker. I'd rather work with the king of hearts. You know what I'm saying? He got his armor and shit on. He got a good heart, but he's going to protect me too. This one's going to look out for me. You see how he got his armor on? He looked like he trained to go. Yeah. It's like I want someone that got his heart on his shoulder, but also looking out for me and watching my back. And it's actually going to work with me to build this thing to success. You see the six of hearts right here? This is like, I want to say... This is like the spark of a new connection. This is the spark of like, I want to say, it's just like a vibration or chemistry, I want to say. Like, I feel like there's a new chemistry that's being built here. Let's clarify this, you guys, because you know I'm still studying cardamancy, so I'm going to go and clarify. So let me see the five of clubs. The Five of Clubs represents a, a card of change. A change in work situation, a change in social standing symbolizes the five fingers of the hand, can represent working with one's hand or making something. It could also denote exercise, physical labor, providing the extra effort needed to get the job done. Action, physical activity, the need for physical app exercise competition a sporting event a job interview a good look yeah i mean so you guys might be coming i feel like you guys are going to have to release everything in order to gain everything i feel like once you realize that you are the library that you don't need to sit in the library anymore that you are the library and you get your emotions together and you start feeling insecure about yourself and where things are going and how things are going to work out. You're literally going to be thrown a pinnacle. But you got to release and pour everything out. And you got to be willing to literally turn your back and walk away on everything. I feel like once you stop questioning things and you show God that I'm not questioning you. I trust myself. I'm And I trust that you know what you're doing in my life and I'm good. You tell me to pour all this shit out. I don't need these cups. I don't need this library. Fine, I'm good. As soon as you do that, you're going to be thrown an opportunity. The king of hearts, you already know the king of hearts. You already know how he go. You already know how he go. That's 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 equivalent to the king of cups. All right? So for this king of hearts, like I said, and you see he got a heart on his. He's going to protect you. He's a fierce fighter. 
Six of Hearts. That's the one I wasn't sure about. So I don't know that one off the top of my head, but I think I'm close. The Six of Hearts, a love relationship, a friendship, emotional security, gallantry, courage, faith, trust, compassion, emotional connection, past life or soul connections. Ah, masculine energy, a male lover, brother, son, bachelor, an unmarried man, anything genuinely associated with the male gender, such as a toolbox, a tie, facial hair, etc. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Like I told y'all, like a love relationship. Like this is like a new connection. This is a new connect. Come on, Father. Come on, Father. Ooh. Give us guidance about. Because it's like, and it ends with. Us being thrown something and us quickly getting over whatever heartbreaking betrayal or us feeling deceived and hurt from whatever the fuck it was that we had to walk away from. Like as soon as we realize that God needs us to listen because like this, this, this feeling insecurity, this needy, this emotional, this clingy shit like you trying to cling on to these books and all of this shit like it's like you trying to cling on to everything that you learned instead of realizing that you like, like as soon as you let that shit go. You gonna walk away from everything that was hurting you and realize that you don't fit in there and what was being offered that you don't even desire that shit no fucking more. So let's be nosy and find out why you're not going for it no more. You're not going for it no more. Like I got the light. I already know everything. I mean, that's literally it. It's like you already know everything that there is to know. So I feel like this person is coming to you now trying to offer you a cup. And you like, mm, do you have something to tell me about something? Uh, he's like, no, I'm just coming to offer you my cup. No, I'm good. Cause, mm -mm. I'm good. Because I slightly don't like how he got his hand to the side like that. Well, I feel like he got his fingers crossed or something. You know, like how, you remember like how back in the day when you would be doing something with your friends and you would make a promise and they'd be like this with their hands behind their back. Like, psych, I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, she's looking at him like, uh-uh. That's a little finger, too. Little finger was always up to something no good. You knew not to trust little finger. If anyone knows... The Game of Thrones, you know good and damn well to don't trust Little Finger. And remember, Little Finger sold, um, sold, uh, uh, what's baby's name? Um, Sansa. He sold Sansa to Ramsey. The Queen of Spades. This person has mutual feelings with the Queen of Spades. Fucking Cersei. An evil, treacherous bitch. Uh-uh, we ain't about to do all that. We not doing all of that, Father. We are not doing that in the name of Jesus. Hold on. This person has a mutual relationship. I feel like what they're offering to you, they're, off, they're also offering it to this queen, this queen of spades. And you already know that. And you're just like, I don't want that shit. That <laughs> yeah! And the queen of diamonds. This person has two queens. This person has two queens. The seven of spades. And the four of hearts. It sounds like it's about four of hearts, don't it? You two and then these two bitches. And you like, I need emotional stability. I need emotional harmony. I need to know that I could feel comfortable and I could trust the person that I'm sharing my heart with. I don't trust you, little finger. You don't trust little finger. Do you understand what I'm saying? You do not trust this motherfucker as far as you could goddamn throw him. Let's go in regards to... Let's, let's clarify, you guys, because, oh, my gracious. The eight of hearts... The eight of hearts, mutual feelings, happiness, comfort, sharing with another, togetherness, working together, um, a couple, emotional connection, emotional balance, warmth, enjoyment, relaxation, protection. But it's like I walked away from you last time because you were no good. Now you're coming back 
and you're offering me something and you're like, oh, you know, the feelings are mutual, happiness, comfort, let's work together and all of this shit. Mm, no, because clearly I left because it was a third party situation and I got over it. OK, that's why I left. That's why I don't want anything that you're offering me because I already got over this shit. That's why I'm leaving. I really do feel like Scorpio maybe. You know what I'm saying? Leaving. The Eight of Cups represents someone leaving. They may be... They've learned everything that they needed to learn. There's no more emotional fulfillment. Where they're at, it could be an area. It could be... I don't think that this is a job, but it could be a job because it looks like you're being offered a new job. I feel like you guys might be offered a new job and may like get up and relocate because wherever you're at, you just feel emotionally insecure and, and you just don't know why things are not working where you're at. And you're just like, look, I'm being thrown an offer somewhere else. Like, I found a clear solution. I'm just going to move because what they're offering me is not what I want. I'm going to read to you guys the queen of space because I want y'all to know what type of person that she is here. The queen of spades, an ambitious and a skillful and intelligent woman, a divorced or widowed, lonely person. Could be an older woman, maybe from a foreign country. This is a leader, a lawyer, a health specialist, a, a clever and capable person of conniving and plotting, a spiteful, a caddy, a deceptive, cold and calculating woman, an emotionally controlling and detached woman, a gossip, and typically a rival in love or in a business situation. So this is the rival. That person is still there. They're still offering their cups to this one. And there's another one too. There's a queen of diamonds. This is the one that they get the money from. Mm-hmm. That's the one that controls them. This is the one that they get the money from. And then there's you. The queen of diamonds. An intelligent, imaginative, energetic, professional woman who is culture and financially secure. Like I told him, this is the one that he goes to for money. Mm -hmm. She may be a wealthy jet setter, a celebrity, an account executive, a CPA, a bank manager, a government official, and she may be rel uh, related by marriage. Okay, so if this is not another woman that this person is allowing them to control them because of money, this could possibly be their mother. So if this person doesn't have two women on the other side, on the side, the two women is the rival in this love affair and the mother. Okay? Seven of spades. Seven of spades. Seven spades is traditionally a card of bad luck, unexpected trouble, mishaps, unhappy surprises. Like I said, a tower moment. Um, serious setback, reversal in plans, frustration, lack of progress, stalemate, stagnation, addiction, drugs, medications, alcohol, codependent, a relationship, a cocktail, a nightclub, a bar, a saloon. Didn't I say something about a motherfucker saloon? You do not fit in with these people. And this person is possibly a drunk do you understand? May have drugs, drug addiction, sex addiction, cheating addiction, gamble addiction. I feel like you guys avoided this shit before. You've already had a tower situation before with this person. I really do feel like this because it says that you're getting over heartbreak. You, you were offered something new and that helped you get over this heartbreak. And then you completely walked away and this person is coming back offering you something. Do you see what I'm saying? So this person is coming back once they see that you're walking away. And they're going to try to tell you, oh, like everything's safe here. There's like emotional harmony and tranquility. They're trying to make you feel encouraged not to leave because they're trying to make you feel like there's emotional harmony here, you know. The, five, uh, the four hearts, emotional stability. I told you, emotional stability, partnership, marriage. The four posts of a uh, marriage bed, physical union, sexual contract, a relationship between two people, the return of a lover. 
Okay, the mending of a broken friendship, a party, having fun, a bed, a sofa, or a comfortable chair. So this person is basically going to try to reel you back in with sex. This person thinks that they can control you with sex. But the queen of spades is controlling this person by pure dominant, domineering force. And they're also being controlled by money. They're being controlled by two different people. But because they feel like you're leaving, they feel like they don't have no choice but to offer to you. I want to know with this, I want to know with this Queen of Cups, how this person feels about you. Because this is someone that let you left you extremely insecure. Uh, you feel emotionally damaged. I really do feel like you had to build yourself up from walking away from something where you learned so much from this situation and you just don't really understand why you just don't understand why such an unfortunate situation the nine of diamonds they they feel they feel like there is security with you with that nine of diamonds they feel like they're more successful with you the six of diamonds i mean like they feel like out of everyone that they've been with, they see more success and more balance and them coming off more with being with you. But is there genuine love? Does this person genuinely love the Scorpio? Does this person... Gen Ooh. The Jack of Clubs, I want to say, yeah, he does genuinely love the Scorpio and this person wants to work on it, but... This person got too much shit going on here. The four diamonds. Yeah, this person. This person wants to be with the Scorpio. But this person is not in a position to be with any fucking body. This person really isn't to be trusted. It doesn't matter how they feel about the person. It's like, I mean, it does matter about how the person feels about the person. But it's like your situation does not allow you to do right by this person. You got two other bitches in your energy. You understand what I'm saying? What the fuck can you do with that? How the fuck can you offer anybody anything? Like this fight is girl. Scorpio's like, I don't want that shit. The nine of diamonds. So the way this person feels about you. Let's go to the nine of diamonds to just clarify this shit. The nine of diamonds here. This represents extra money. Look, <laughs> they feel like you're just an extra, like you're just an icing on a cake. Like I already got these two bitches giving me shit. You extra money to me, okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Extra money, a check, a bonus. The brain, mental energy, psychic ability, imagination, electricity, electric magnetic energy, other people's wishes and desires that affect or influence the quadrant. Fame, celebrity, public office, okay? Bureaucratic red tape when surrounded by unfavorable cards. So they want to be attached to your fame, your celebrity, to your public stature. They feel like it's a bonus to be around you. That it makes them look extra good. That they feel like, like I said, that they're going to come off. It's, it, it's They're going to come off good. I don't like that. The six of diamonds, quiet. Timid, shyness, lack of communication, jealous, possessiveness, psychology, social service, science, technology, computers, information. Oh, this person has been stalking you. Diagnostic equipment, energy stir, vitality, power, electric shock, quirks, power, nervous energy, adrenaline. I feel like you make this person nervous. I feel like they're scared too approach you and say something to you and they've been stalking you but mainly i feel like they've been watching you be on a come up and now all of a sudden they want to work on shit with you now all of a sudden they want to work on shit with you okay they want to work on things with you but i don't think it's it says a hard working honest sincere young man he's busy he's an active young person most often a male clever enterprising this person is for, um, Enjoys sports. He may participate in school, community football, baseball, soccer. He can represent an employee or a person at your job. Um, he could be a close friend or a business associate associate that could be useful to the inquirer in some way. He may wear a uniform that symbolizes his rank in his work role. Okay? So, like I said, this person... 
They've been watching you. They've been shy. They've been quiet. They've been lurking. They've been watching you. And they want to work on things with you. Now, all of a sudden, the Four of Diamonds. Let's see what that means. Let's get some clarification. The Four of Diamonds represents financial stability. I told you this. Okay. Financial stability. Financial papers. Rented property. License certificate. The checkbook or wallet. An account or jewelry box. This person just this person just wants to be with you because they feel like that they will be able to come up off of you. That's it. I did feel like, okay, well, this person, whatever happened, like this person is starry-eyed. And, you know, they're looking at you and they, and they want, they're like, wow, like, you know what I'm saying? Even though I left this person like this or whatever, I'm saying that because it's, it's a heartbreak that you're getting over. So this is something that's already happened. This is someone that's been here already. They don't have, they don't have any good intentions with you. They just coming around you because they seen that you've been blowed up, that you've been successful without them. That even throughout your hardship, you still be the tallest blessings. You came out of the situation as a champ. They see that you're about to completely move on. And they want to try to come to you with an offer, but you don't even want it. You know that there's two other women that are controlling this person or that uh, that is in this person's energy. You don't want nothing to do with it. And in intuitively, you learned enough to know that this person is only coming around because they think that they can get something up off of you and you don't want nothing to do with it. You're focused on the king of hearts. Give me clarification. Clarify this. What doesn't the Scorpio know? The stars. You're going to see the signs. You're going to get signs. A child. Lord. Why the fuck does this child come up in every goddamn reading? You're going to see signs. All right, you're going to see signs. You're going to see. Uh, you're going to get signals uh, that there is a child in the picture, and that this person is still a fucking dog. You're going to see signs that whatever this person is coming to kick to you, that you know what I'm saying. This person has a responsibility, a faded situation where he has a child. And a commitment somewhere with, with, with there's, you know what I'm saying? This person already has a new beginning of, that they need to focus on. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I feel like, I really do feel like that the stars can represent imagination too. You understand what I'm saying? It can represent imagination. Um, it can, it, astrology, signs, like psychic ability like you know what i'm saying i feel like to wherever you physically may not have the proof to know this per se this person may not know this know that you know this but you know this you know that this person is still a dog ass motherfucker they got a child somewhere else that they have a commitment to so what the fuck are you even coming over here for it's like you already know. Like you, we've already discussed this. This comes out in every fucking Scorpio reading, does it not? All right. So what's going on behind this three of swords in the reverse? Give us some information behind this three of swords in the reverse. Yeah. The time, like, I feel like everything that there was to learn from this heartbreak situation, I mean, you guys have... The time is up on you entertaining this shit. I really do feel like you have a certain, a different standard. Uh, so, hey, look, the time is up with the snake. The time is up with this snake being in your life. You have a totally different standard and a whole different setup to the way that you allow people in your life. You don't have time for no snakes, for no one that's being tricky, that's a trickster. You don't have no time for nobody's manipulation in their bullshit. You don't have it. You don't have it to do. That person's time is up. That person's time is up. Listen, that was a heavy ass cross to bear. It was a heavy ass goddamn cross to bear. That situation got old. You're focused on your peace and your harmony. You are not. I feel like you buried those skeletons. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like you buried that shit. Give me guidance over here with this um, eight of cups and this four of cups here. And again, y'all could be dating or dealing with 
out of their air sign here. I don't see nothing but air and cups. Air and cups and one pinnacle. So you guys could have been dealing with another um, Cancer's Pisces Scorpio. Y'all could have been dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Um, I don't see no fire up here. Y'all could have also been dealing with a Taurus uh, Virgo Capricorn. The lady, you're focused on yourself. Give me guidance about this. You focus on yourself. You ain't got no time for that shit. You cut that mother. As soon as this person gonna come and offer you some shit, you sniff this, sniffing your new roses out of your new guard, and you don't cut all that old shit out of your life, and you don't plant a new seed. You don't have time for it. Like I said, you're like, you want to talk to me about what? I already know all the gossip and the tea on you, bro. Like, you can't. Like, what are you talking about? You understand what I'm saying? You're going to be like, you're going to tell this person, like, cut this shit out. I already know all the gossip about you, and you're going to run down all the motherfucking tea. Okay? Like these motherfuckers in the streets been uh, cackling and cuckling about your motherfucking shit about you and this goddamn baby and shit for months now. I done been new about this shit. Like you, like, what, like, okay? And, and it's like they're still trying to gift you something. It's still trying to, like, shit. <laughs> So, I mean, and it might be just you gifting them with this information, like, bruh, like, you could be so arrogant, like, I really do see this as arrogance, almost, it's just, like, you're sniffing, like, they're coming, offering you this cup, and you're just like, oh, you don't got nothing to tell me? No, I just, I just realized how much I love you, I just want to give you this cup, and you're like, oh, but you ain't still offering the cup to this bitch? No, no, no. Uh, you know, me and this person broke up. This is that. Oh, but what about this one? Yeah, the one that you always be going to to be yeah, the paymaster, the one that be giving you the, all that money. And what about your mother? Wasn't you allowing your mother to interfere in our relationship too? Did you ever get in control of that? No, no, no. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm going to try to get everything together. You know, I know. You know, we had some fucked up moments in our relationship. I let my mother in. I let this other girl or I let both of these girls come into our relationship. And it was a whole bunch of unfortunate, unnecessary, unforeseen moments that happened. But, you know, I just feel like, you know, if you just let me in, like I said, this person trying to entice you with sex. If you just let me in and you're going to be like, hmm, so let me think about what you're saying. Sniffs, bros. So what you're offering me is a cup, one cup. When in the past, I gave you several. Yeah, that's why I cut you out. Cause mm, that one cup that you're offering me, you were giving to several people. So that made me feel like I wasn't getting anything. So why take what you're giving me when I cut you out because I didn't trust you. And on top of that, I found out everything that I thought about you was true. And then you turned around, all right, and you get committed elsewhere, which results in a baby. And you thought that I wasn't going to find out about it, okay? Well, guess what? The stars aligned. And I know a lot of amazing people that tell me a lot of amazing information, okay? And... Even your chart says you're a fuck nigga. So, like, y y this was, listen. <laughs> like, this person seen the signs before it even happened. Do you understand what I'm saying? This lady seen the signs of this happening before it even happened. They cut you out. After they cut you out, everything that they thought happened actually did happen. You found out about it through gossip, through chit chatter. You're thankful that you cut this person out and you're offering them the gift of you can't hide nothing from me, boo. I know everything about you. Take care now. Bye bye then. You take those roses back with you now. Thank you. Okay? <laughs> like no bullshit. You go ahead and take those roses back. Okay, I done figured out a clear solution. Let me shine some light on why I don't fuck with people like you no more. I don't like you. Take care now. Bye bye then. Like, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? I swear, Jesus, Lord, I promise and I, and I beg of you. When we do the mid months, I do not want to see this child no more.
Yes, one of us is literally about to have a child. Because this is not an energy of us having a child. This has something to do with this person. Like, no. I don't want to hear about that shit. No motherfucker more. On no goddamn accord unless it's new beginnings coming into our life. I um, promise you, I don't want to hear about this shit no more. Firm foundations. And if, like, y'all listen right now. Scorpio has other shit going on in their life right now. They're trying to get their foundations together. What is this saying? And they're suffering in silence. Like, Scorpio has some other shit going on in their life that is way more important than their heart chakra right now. Their foundation is, like, literally crumbling under them. And they're suffering in silence in regards to that. They don't have time to deal with this bullshit. Like, this, like when you got real shit going on in your life, you're not tripping on this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You are not tripping on this bullshit, and you definitely not tripping on nobody that's coming and bringing you one measly bitch ass cut that you're not even interested in. You understand what I'm saying? Scorpio is focused on trying to get their foundation, their job stability, their home stability, like major shit, discontent and boredom. And it's like hard to sacrifice. So, right now, what's going on with, Sir, like with Scorpio? Their foundation around them, there was a big tower moment in Scorpio's life where either their home situation was affected by it, situation with their children's stability was affected, like their school and their daycare. Like, I don't know, like someone's daycare could have been threatening to um, kick them out due to um, past due payment. Y'all might be back on y'all rent on a few bills or something like that. Y'all got other shit going on. Do you understand? Y'all been suffering in silence like a lot of people don't even know that you're experiencing and you're going through this like hardship. I feel like you guys are going through like personal hardships and right now like you would love to focus on matters of the heart. But right now thoughts of shit going on in your heart is boring right now when you have major shit popping off. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you got major shit popping off right now. It's certain things in your world that you are having to sacrifice and let go that you really, really don't want to. And it's like, it is something that's like emotionally unnerving for you. It's something that's emotionally unnerving for you. Give me guidance in regards to what was going on with this firm foundation. Like Scorpio feel like I don't got nobody. I got all of this shit going on in my life right now and don't nobody got my back. And then it's just this strength card. Scorpio is like needing strength right now to. It's like the the world is like clawing at their back. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're trying to walk away from something, but it's like, where are you going? Shh. You know what I'm saying? Shh. You know what I'm saying? Like as you're running away from an environment into happiness and prosperity it's like you feel like you're getting attacked behind your back you understand what i'm saying and it's not like someone doing it it's the energy that's going on right now it's the environment it's shit that is going on outside of your control you know you don't have no time to be worrying about no stupid ass fucking relationships right now from this king of swords that is coming back with this motherfucker baby you don't trust it you don't believe this motherfucker here go this motherfucker again with this goddamn baby get the fuck on with your lying ass with you and you because i was about to say something mean. no mm-mm Mm -mm. Ten of Cups in reverse. Love don't live here no more. Please go somewhere. Go somewhere. Go home, Roger. Who, who, who did you have this baby with? Go home, Roger. Go home to your baby mama, Roger. The fuck, Mo? Go the fuck home, Roger. The Eight of Coins. We're not going to work anything out with you, Roger. Go home, Roger. Okay, we're just, we are having the strength to work on other shit. We don't have time to entertain you, Roger. Go the fuck home, Roger, to your rat ass baby mama. We don't want no drama. Save that for your mama, boy. What? Oh my gracious. Clear solutions. Bye. The fuck. Oh my gosh. We ain't even need no strength for that. Bye. <laughs> the hell? There is no emotional fulfillment in anything. All of that shit ended last year. Bye. 
Let me got this in love for my Scorpios. What's coming in love? Like I told you, this motherfucker is wearing a mask. Can we get past him? What's going on? Winter. Okay? Let's get past him. This person is coming to you wearing a mask. Blessings is coming to you this winter. What's coming this winter? And I seen that motherfucking devil card. I see that bitch. I know that's him. I knew it was. I knew it fucking was. It says this winter. Purge. The devil energy. Is that this winter or was that last winter? It could have very much so been last winter. But I just see a winter purge happening. Where you release being trapped and bound and tied up to toxic ass energy. And you being wrapped up in third party bullshit. You're like what? Nigga please. And you did that shit with no fear. He said get the fuck out of here. You mask wearing ass bitch. And you reinvented yourself. Come on Scorpio. Come on. Did you do that last winter? You invade gay and stepped into your divine feminine principle. Y'all get the fuck out of here. Tell that motherfucker to get the fuck out of here with that shit. Okay? Okay? And also just know by this winter, by this motherfucking winter, baby, that, that reinvention, honey, you want to see that motherfucker coming in full force and live and in living color, honey. We, you know, I'm trying to tell you the divine feminine is taking over. Oh, it's going to be a cold winter, baby. It's going to be a cold winter. Okay? Slaying them down like Anna Wintour. Give me guidance. What does it say? It's romance. Cupid Airvolt strikes. It's going to strike this winter. It's going to strike this winter. And let me try to tell you, this person with this mask can get on up out of here because we ain't got nothing to do with him. We've already purged any type of toxic energy. We did it without fear. We invented ourselves. And Cupid Arrow is going to strike this winter, ladies. Know that. And gents. Ladies and gents. Because I do read. And there's the men that, that they let me know all the time. You know there's men that watch us. I'm sorry, y'all. I just speak because I'm a girl. So I'll just be, you know, thinking from the lady's perspective. It says, give thanks to the blessings soon to come your way. Know that you deserving of it. It says, know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Give thanks to the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart desires. Come on now. Cupid arrow strikes. And then what is it saying? Soulmate, fucking do it. It says your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. You don't know them. You don't know them yet. But God's going to show them to you. Believe it. They are with you in spirit and they are going to, they're going to be illuminated to you. They are going to be illuminated to you. Like I said, you got clear solution to all of this shit. Okay, if y'all got issues with your job, y'all about to find a new one. If y'all got issues with your home, you're going to find a new one. If you were having issues of love, you're going to find a new one. Clear solution. I'm going to find a new one. I ain't tripping. I'm not going to find... Listen, I'm saying, ding, you're right. Okay, ding, bitch. Give me guidance and love. Clarify this for me. This romance. Give it thanks to the blessings and the soulmate. God said, if you learn something, show me. Tattoo my name on it. Let me know it's real. Okay? Okay. Straight like that. Straight like that. The that, that, the that. Okay, let's read. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. So, listen. Business is about to take off for you. I feel like you might have to purge your old ways of business. Your old ways of being... Whatever you were doing in the beginning, all that shit is about to go away because you have something brand new coming to you and it's going to be successful. It's going to be strong. It's going to have longevity there. Um, I definitely do feel like um, you've been stalking new potential opportunities in regards to resources and work opportunities. You've been looking very hard and it's been paining you. It's like it's been paining you. It's been paining you. I feel like. I'm changing this into work. I'm supposed to be talking about love. But I really do feel like the, a lot of the stuff that is going on with you in love, you can't focus on it because 
Your foundation is not in order. You're like, I just need to reach this pinnacle. Just give me a little bit more time and do a little bit re research. This shit has been driving you fucking crazy. You've been having nightmares about this situation. You've been having nightmares that, you know, you're not going to be able to obtain and reach this, you know, this new beginning where you're going to find success and longevity tower moment you know what i'm saying tower like this has this has nothing to do with getting out of jail getting out of unstable footing okay this has nothing at all to do with love this has everything to do with your foundations that knight of pentacles you guys have been it's been it's been a long time coming like you guys have just been trying to reach success and you got been looking and looking and looking and searching and searching and searching almost to the point that it's like literally becoming the nightmare of your fucking life just trying to find stability you know what i'm saying just trying to find stability you keep reaching and reaching and reaching and reaching for this pinnacle and for this new successful beginning but every time you feel like you almost got it something fucked up happens and it takes it away from you you know what I'm saying? It takes it away from you. And you're just so fucking tired. You're like, God, please save me from this unstable footing. Like, release me from this. Like, why am I not able to, like, secure communication that is actually going to lead to something substantial you know what i'm saying and you guys could take that in, in into love too but i'm really trying to tell you there is someone that is keep having mishap after mishap after mishap after mishap after mishap in love and in finances and career and then scorpio is like fucking tired like they're tired you know what i'm saying they're tired Will things, I have one more question. Will things get better for the Scorpio in August? But you know what? You see this. I, I do see like people are coming to help you. I really do people are come. I really do feel like people are coming to rest you and save you. And then my clock just said you're almost there. It's time to stand up. You're almost there. It's time to stand up, y'all. Stand up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you guys are going to keep, 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 keep looking. Y'all going to keep trying. Y'all going to keep applying yourself into something. Y'all are going to find help. Is this going to get better in August for Scorpio? What's the outcome in this situation and the stability in August? Will things get better in August in regards to stability for Scorpio? No. No. The worst isn't over yet. It's like it's something else that has it's it, it, no. I feel like God is God is testing your balance. God is sending me the you these tower moments to, to test your faith. And God knows what he's doing. He want to see how much you believe in him. And then for some people, I really do feel like, and this is not for everybody, I'm, I'm being honest. Some of y'all um, are going to like avoid prison, honestly. And it's by the blessings of God because some of y'all been doing some fucked up shit. And a lot of the shit that is coming to you is because you deserved it. You know what I'm saying? And you have to come to God pure. And admit your mistakes. You understand what I'm saying? It's like somebody's going to have to have a come to Jesus moment. Where you're going to have to literally get down on your knees. And admit to God all your wrongdoings and stuff like that. And you're going to have to come to him naked and pure. You literally are. Because if you don't want better for yourself based off of your actions. How the fuck can he do something better for you? You understand what I'm saying? And some of these tower moments for some people are based off of your actions. But for the majority of the people, it's just a lot of unfortunate situation has been happening to Scorpio back after back after back after back after back. And it keeps knocking them on their goddamn ass. And like, but it's like Scorpio is so used to this shit. It's like fucked up shit always happens to me. Like what else is new? But 
it makes us who we are. That's why we're so strong the way that we are. But at the same time, it's like, <coughs> God, when is this shit going to let up? You know what I'm saying? <coughs> now my throat is itching. It's like, when is this going to let up? But I really do feel like the worst is not over. I feel like God is really shaking shit up for Scorpio right now because... I feel like he's going to strip you down to nothing to where you're fucking bare to test your faith. If I take everything from you right now, I mean everything from you, would you still believe in me? Your house, your job, your man, your car, everything. If I was to strip you bare right now. Without any knowing if it was going to return, would you still get down on your knees and would you pray to me? Would you still believe in me or would you blame me? God's testing your faith. For the ones that regardless of their circumstances, they still see love. They still... Listen, the star represents faith, it represents hope, it represents spiritual balance, it represents knowing, you know what I'm saying? God giveth and God taketh away, and if God took that shit from me, that means because he about to replace that shit with something new. Let me take all my clothes off right now, okay? Because <laughs> God about to give me some banging ass clothes. He got to give me a banging ass man, a brand new fucking Ferrari, a big ass six bedroom Three bathroom house, okay? Like, okay, God, let me take let me take these clothes off. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are two different people. You understand? They're the ones that know without a shadow of a doubt. God stripping me bare. Cause he know I don't care. God stripping me bare because he know I don't care. I know God got me. This is someone that has a dumb, stupid amount of faith. You know what I'm saying? Like God take it. But the ones that get down and the ones that the ones that don't understand what God is doing. I understand what God is doing. He's trying to see how strong you are. He's testing your faith. He's testing your faith. And it looks like y'all not about to see red. Y'all going to take dominance. Y'all listen, Scorpio said I ain't here to play. They said I'm protected. Come on. Come on, Scorpio. What the fuck? Come the hell on. Scorpio said, I did not come here to fucking play with y'all today. I did not come here to play with y'all. Come on, Scorpio. Gathering. Come on, Scorpio. Didn't the 444 can come on now? Jesus, I literally, I don't know if y'all can see this, but I have chill bumps. Y'all see that? Y'all. Memories. The one, 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 you a magical creator. And then pink, come on. I love the way this shit ended. I love the way this shit ended. Listen, Scorpio said, you know what? Even though this shit is fucked up, uh, I really do feel like you've shown yourself your own power just by what you don't accept no more. Just your willingness that if shit ain't working here, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I just leave. I leave everything behind and I move somewhere completely new and go start my life all over again and hopes for a new beginning. But it looks like I feel like a, some of y'all are being forced to do this. Where like literally everything is being taken from you where you literally cannot go back there. You're being forced to move on. And a lot of you guys are not allowing this shit to incite you to anger. You know what I'm saying? Um, this says passion, anger, courage, and strength. Um, I see this in the in the reverse. Um, I feel like you're not allowing it to anger you, but it does affect your passion, your courage, and your strength. It does kind of, like when this shit hits you, it does deplete you. Like y'all gonna have some serious fucking time. If y'all haven't already experienced it, in August, it's gonna be like a shit fall. And I'm sorry to say that, but it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really is. But you're gonna grab life by the horns. You're gonna take dominance. You're like, I ain't scared. Mama ain't raised no punk bitch. Mama ain't raised no punk bitch. Y'all must don't know who the fuck y'all playing with. I'm protected and I'm highly favored. So come with it. Okay? And God, I know you testing me. Come on, let's do it. I come to you, bear. I come to you naked. Let's do this.
Let me take a sip of the spiritual water first. Let's do this. Let's rock. You understand what I'm saying? God, I already know that you're going to feed me. I already know. Listen, we are gathered here to eat this meal that is prepared by the hands of God. I already know that once it's all said and done, I'm going to be gathered at a table that is well prepared for me. And that is literally going to be given to me by you. So I'm not even worried about it. It says your hard work and determination is creating blessed foundations for the future. 444. 444, baby. Aroma. You're going to have sweet memories of how good things used to be again. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sweet memories. Do you understand? This is 111. You are a magical creator. Your thoughts are beginning to manifest. I mean, this is in the reverse. When these tower moments hit you, anytime you feel yourself sinking low, Scorpio, and you start thinking of negative thoughts, grab your ass and turn that shit around. Say, uh-uh, because that's going to lead me nowhere. That's going to bring me more heartache. That's going to bring me more bad tower moments. If you keep dwelling on the tower moments, another one going to come and another one going to come and another one going to come and another one come. Do not feed to that energy. Do not feed that energy. Do you understand? When your, when your uh, thoughts go negative, say, uh-uh, bitch. No, no, no. No, no, no. Because, listen, pink, love, caring, and compassion. A lot of good things are going to come to you out of this shit. Do not lose sight. Do not lose focus throughout these tower moments. Do you understand what I'm saying? Look, you're going to have to start all over, but God is about to throw you a blessing. Make sure that you're in the right place, in the right place space to catch it because if you still entertaining shit in the past and some shit from yesteryears when he throw that blessing you it's going to hit the floor and somebody else going to pick it up make sure that you succeed through these motherfucking tower moments so that when god throws you this blessing because this is that jack and the bean star is that magical seed you have to plant it like i told you you do not have time to sit in the library anymore. It's time to take everything that you learned in that library and apply it in this new place. You cannot stay in that old neighborhood. You cannot stay there anymore. You are the library. You do not need to sit around the books. You are the book. You get me? You are the book. Scorpio, I love you. You hear these jewels, catch it. It's going to be rough, but show motherfuckers what a Scorpio is around this bitch. Bitch, we create. Listen, the tower, okay? That shit gets thrown at us every other motherfucking day. Try again. We done learn how to catch tower bombs, okay? With our bare hands. Okay? You already know what you got to do. Catch this shit and show these motherfuckers how to do shit. Scorpio, I'm out.